like the vats of molten gold. The debate around Tanzania's minerals could not be any hotter. The government accuses mining companies of stealing $48 billion in tax. And now the government is taking action that will send tremors through the business world. They're proposing a law which will allow Parliament to look at all oil, gas and mining contracts, past and present, and decide whether they are unethical. If Parliament decides any are, they can force the company involved to renegotiate. And if that company refuses, their old contract could be void. My vision is... Academics, politicians and business people gathered to debate it, and a former budget committee MP backed the bill. I believe that uh, natural resources are public assets. Therefore, if these are public assets, they have to be subjected to public accountability and uh, to parliamentary oversight. Companies are wincing. Acacia Mining says it's been unfairly accused of tax evasion and that the government is overestimating its gold production by more than 12-fold. But it's losing $1 million a day because of an export ban, and now it too must renegotiate its contract. The debate will resonate across Africa. It is one that has been going for decades. The saying goes that nothing is certain in life but death and taxes. And in Tanzania, some contracts may well soon be dead if more taxes aren't forthcoming. Dan Ashby, CGTN, in Tanzania.